Hello beautiful souls. Today we're going to be creating bind the mail pages. I will also be having a separate video on creating a DIY binder since I don't have a binder to put this in. I'm going to create a DIY binder and here we'll be making we're going to be making two of these but of course I will be assembling only one so you're gonna have two of the same pages with different pattern papers and then we have a pocket here in the back using different designer papers as a pocket here too okay this is a belly band here and this is to insert the um, your embellishments and then we're also going to be creating an envelope. We're going to be doing two envelopes, but we're only going to do one on camera, okay? And you will have plenty of space here to put embellishments in for binding the bell. And remember, this is going to get bulky once you put your embellishments in. And here I have it already set up. So you see, it's bulky now because of the embellishments. So this is how I decided to create the pages so that we can house the um, embellishments in case you know I wouldn't know how to put put them here without messing up the paper and the reason why I put it in a separate card I did it to that and I did it to the pocket back here and then this is for like stamped images or die cuts and then there's a pocket here where you can put tags or something in there or a card. And then here's another one. And here's another set of uh, paper embellishments. And these are non-paper embellishments here. So the reason why I didn't want to put the embellishments on here to attach them here permanent you know well semi-permanent because you know they are going to be removed to be used is because once you're finished with these and you can make as many pages as you want but once you finish with the embellishment you can make a mini album out of these pages so you can put make another card you know with coordinating paper and then insert your your pictures and then slide them in in here and back here as well you could put a picture here too you can put a picture on the envelope and add pictures inside the envelope okay this the this is not the pages are not decorated yet the envelope is still needs to be decorated as well um, and I will do that eventually but this is just, you know, a, a simple tutorial on how to create the pages. And you will embellishment, you know, embellish it the way you want to embellish them. So this is why I didn't want to attach the embellishments to the, you know, to the pages themselves. Okay. So that's what we'll be creating. And, and again... It does have bulk, you know, once you put your embellishments on there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out these pieces here, okay? And we're actually going to do this twice. So for this one that I've already completed, I'm going to cut another set just like it, but using a different designer paper. This one is the one that I created called... Uh, Victorian Lace Tea Party and it and it can be pur purchased on Tea Time and Dolls Etsy shop okay um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this out now so you're gonna need a set of two okay so you can use the same papers or you can use two different papers it's entirely up to you all right so here I'm gonna use this one and this one so one is going to be the front and one is going to be the back because this is um, backed up um, I cut out two sheets and I 
glued it, glued it together to give it stability, sturdiness. Okay, so, and I have my measurements here, but I'm going to tell you the measurements as we go along. So for the page, we're going to cut out eight and a quarter. This is going to be how tall this is. So pay attention to the direction of your paper. So eight and a quarter. Okay. By six inches. And you're going to do this twice because you're going to glue them back to back, remember. So as you can see here, it is the size of this paper. And I'm going to use this one for the back side. Again, eight and a quarter by six. So now I have front and back, and these two pieces will get glued on, okay? Now we're going to make the pocket, this pocket here. I will be using this for the pocket. Now the pocket measures, okay, so it's going to be five inches tall. Let me get a sample here that I've done already previously. Make sure that it is Yeah, 5 inches tall. By According to this it says 7 inches wide. Yes, it is. Okay. So that's our pocket. And we're going to do the scoring after we do all the cutting. Because this, uh, this has to get scored, as you can see here. It's actually scored on all the corners here. Because the top, I like it to have a smoother edge as opposed to a sharp edge. So that's why I decided to do scoring lines um, on all four sides so we will do that after all the cutting is done okay so now I have my pocket and this pocket is going to go back here as a matter of fact okay and now we're also going to create this belly band and this is also folded here so it's not a sharp edge and it makes it more sturdy that way okay so I'm going to use the same paper that I used for this pocket I'm actually going to cut this part off here. I think I'm going to cut off a little bit more. Let me see. I'm going to leave it. Okay. So, this for the belly band is going to be the same height as this, which is eight and a quarter. Okay, and this is already eight and a quarter. This is the A4 size of the uh, Prima Dulce uh, collection paper, a designer paper. All right, so I'm going to cut this at, so it's already eight and a quarter, this way, by three inches wide. And we're going to score this as well. So here we have all the pieces. Now you're going to do this again using a different set of designer paper, which I've already cut mine. Okay, so you're going to do this again a second time. Now we're also going to make an envelope. Here I have one here. There's an envelope here. And that's actually uh, an extra pocket here. And I like to layer... Um, you know the envelopes to make it a lot more sturdy so you see here this this is one piece here and then the layer here in the front and back in the back I made it into a pocket this one I did not okay 
so this makes it a lot lot sturdy so this is what we're going to cut out right now okay so this is going to be the back of my envelope or of the envelope like this here this is the back of the envelope and you want to pay attention to the direction of your paper here too okay so since I've printed this out on eight and a half by eleven sheet I already have my eight and a quarter which is the size that we need this way okay now this is the part here that we're gonna cut this is already eight and a quarter so I don't have to worry about that so cut your paper eight and a quarter and then for the direction of your paper this is also eight and a quarter all right so you're gonna cut that at eight and a quarter and you're gonna save this as well so you're actually using this whole entire eight and a half by eleven sheet all right so we're gonna do this scoring after we cut out all, all our pieces okay so you really we already have the back part of the envelope we're going to do the front side of the envelope and the front side for this one here if you're using directional paper make sure that it's on the landscape size because we're gonna need nine and a quarter but this is actually the front of the envelope this will be the top of the envelope the bottom of it and the envelope and the sides and we need it to be nine and a quarter inches long okay so if you have uh, eight and a half by eleven that the, the directional is this way it's not going to work it has to be on the landscape size so if you're going to use a 12 by 12 um, paper that'll work see this is an eight and a uh, eight and a quarter here I mean eight and a half here so this is not gonna work it's not gonna work all right so eight and a um, nine and a quarter by six and a quarter inches uh, six and a quarter I believe that's the size we have to make it wider for the um, so that we can add scoring lies and, and create the pocket so this is going to be it's eight and a quarter by six and a quarter okay this is what's going to create this part of the envelope which is the front now I'm going to do layering pieces for the envelope okay so now we have the back part that has the flap and then we have the front part now we're going to do the layering pieces now for the layering piece it's going to be um, four and three quarters inches tall let me cut that at four and three quarters and we're going to do this twice by seven and three quarters okay that is this is the envelope that I had already created and that will be the layering part as you can see here okay you can make this a little taller I just realized this one is a little taller maybe you can make it probably seven eighths uh, four and seven eighths as opposed to four and three quarters. I'm just going to leave it at four and three quarters. I'm going to go ahead and cut this part off because I want this to be the other part of um, the envelope, which would be the, probably the pocket in the back. So four and three quarters. By seven and three quarters. Okay, so these are my layering pieces for the envelope. Now we're going to do this, all the scoring. Scoring here, we'll be scoring the pocket and the belly band. I actually changed 
the, the pattern on this. I originally cut these out for the pocket and the belly band, and I changed it out for this. So it was it's still cut in the same way. So for the pocket, we're going to score at a half an inch on all four sides. And we're going to cut there's a it's a little square here from the scoring yeah, I know you can see this line but you can't see this line anyway there's a little square there and we're gonna cut those off at an angle so this is the score line and I'm going to turn my scissors and cut it at an angle away from the score line I'm gonna do this that to all four sides Okay, that's the pocket. For the belly band, we're going to score at a half an inch on both ends. So half an inch and then two and a half. Or you can rotate it and score again at, at a half an inch. Okay, now we're going to do the envelope. So for the envelope, this is uh, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and mine is really not directional, so I can score it on either end. If yours is directional, the part that's going, the part that's directional facing you, you're going to turn to the side. Uh, let me give you another example. Okay, let's say for instance, this is the same length as this. So this is directional this way so you will turn it this way if this was the eight and a quarter okay and from here you're going to score at five and three quarters this is the flap or the closure of your envelope okay so that's done now this is the front of your envelope and you will score this again on all four sides at a half an inch. Half an inch, rotate, half an inch, rotate, half an inch, rotate. And again, you're going to cut off those little squares on all four corners of the paper at an angle. And that is all the scoring and cutting we're going to do. We're going to do one more cut, but we're going to do that when we're assembling the envelope. And that is to make a cut here to create a back pocket. But we will do that when we're assembling the envelope. So now we're going to assemble everything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue these two pieces together. Make sure we, you spread the glue to the edges. This was gifted to be to me by my friend Sonia. Thank you, Sonia. This came in handy. I did quite a few of these pages, and boy, did it come in handy. Okay. And if you have a little bit of overhang, you could always trim that off. You're not, you're not always going to get it exact. And I'm going to actually put this under here so it can remain flat. Okay. This is the belly band. I'm going to go ahead and assemble that.
page back out and I'm going to glue this and not in the middle you can if you want I'm going to glue this leaving what's this about an inch an inch an inch and an eighth away from the edge I'm just going to add a little glue here on the edge and a little bit here on the edge So this one has a little bit of an overhang, so I'm just going to trim that, no big deal. Okay, now we're going to do the pocket for here. And I'm going to do the top first, because that's going to get glued down completely to this part. fold along the score line on the rest of this okay I'm going to add a little bit of glue to here and then the rest I'm going to add glue only to three sides. And everything should align nicely. So you're going to do this again twice. Remember, on another designer paper, using other designer papers. So you're going to have two sets of these. And this will probably fit like on a standard um, small binder so you will make your holes accordingly to that binder like the ones in the Dollar Tree or like the ones they sell um, that I've seen people um, haul from Walmart I believe it was or Target one of those two this I believe will fit in that in those binders as well but we're gonna do a DIY binder um, specifically for this so that it can fit really really nicely and it can match nicely okay so now let's do the envelope we have to prepare this part which is the part that's going to get glued on here so as a matter of fact okay whichever paper you know if your paper is this is your envelope and your direction of your paper is this way um, fold over the top first and glue that down like we did to this pocket here and again we're only going to add glue to the three sides And if you cut it according to the directions that were given, everything should align nicely. And this is shorter, the front is shorter than the envelope so that, you know, you can go in there easily. And I like that this is not a sharp edge. Okay, then you can figure out what your closure is going to be. You can put lace here and what have you. This is the reason why I wanted to keep this part so that you can glue it here and it and this makes the lid a lot more sturdier. And I haven't, I'm not going to glue this on yet because I'm not sure what my closure is going to be. Okay, so that's why I haven't glued it on. But once I figure out what my closure is going to be, I will glue this on. And it makes it more sturdier. 
Okay, now for the for this part here, you can distress the edges if you like. I'm just going to leave it like that. And now this one here, I'm going to um, cut out an opening and I'm going to use a pencil. I'm going to eyeball what I think the center is. I'm not going to make a big fuss. I'm just gonna glue this on on four sides I mean on three sides not four not four whoa that was a lot of glue video we're going to create the binder and we're going to create the binder according to the measurements here that's why I wanted to create the pages first um, and then again you can go ahead and punch your holes here because it doesn't matter since we didn't create the binder yet and we'll be matching the holes here on the binder okay and we'll be using um, binder rings so he, this is these are two inches. I also have the one and a half inch, and then I think I have the one inch binder rings. I get these from my local um, discount store. These are easily found online as well, in different sizes as well. So these, uh, so this is what I'll be using to create a DIY binder. I love the way this turned out, and it's really fast. It's really quick to make it once you get the measurements down pack you you can make a couple of these um, quickly so there you have it so all is well let's share be fair be filled with love and love one another take good care everybody